Hi. Now, I've got another example that deals with matrix equations. This is a result that you should really learn, but I'm going to show you how you can prove it. We're given that if X and Y are non-singular matrices, show that the inverse of X times Y is equal to the inverse of Y multiplied by the inverse of X. So how do we do something like this? Well, it relies on these ideas here, that if we take I, the identity matrix, we should be aware from earlier videos in this series that if you take any matrix X and you multiply it by the identity matrix I, it's exactly the same as I times X, and it gives you back just X. It leaves the matrix X unchanged in multiplication. And also, if you take the matrix X and multiply it by its inverse matrix, or do it the other way around, you always end up with the identity matrix. So if we're going to show something like this, it's a good idea to just go around and say, let another matrix, let's say we call it Z, and let it equal X times Y, and then take the inverse of that the inverse then of xy. So what I need to do is find another version for z, show that it's the inverse of y times the inverse of x. And to do that, what I first need to do is post multiply both sides by xy. Post multiply, that is to multiply both sides on the right by xy. So Therefore, what I'd have is Z multiplied by XY is going to equal the inverse of XY multiplied by XY. Now, we've seen that by this result, that if you take any matrix and multiply it by its inverse, you get the identity matrix. Now I'm going to put in this every step, okay? But I'm sure you could leave out some of these steps, but essentially this gives us the identity matrix. Now, the next thing I need to do is get rid of the Y. And so I need to post multiply both sides by the inverse of Y. So if I do that, I've got Z. I don't really need these brackets anymore, so I can just regard it as Z, X, Y, but I'm post multiplying by the inverse of Y. And I must do the same on the other side. Now we know that Y times its inverse must be the identity matrix. So we've got Z, X multiplied by I equals, and here the identity multiplied by its inverse, well, it leaves the inverse unchanged by this result up here. So we just get the inverse of y. We also know that x times i just leaves us with x, so therefore we've got zx equals the inverse of y. Now, to get a z on its own, I just have to remove the x. So I need to post multiply both sides by the inverse of x. So I get z multiplied by x multiplied by its inverse equals the inverse of y multiplied by the inverse of x. And x times its inverse is going to be the identity matrix, so you're left with z times the identity matrix equals the inverse of y multiplied by the inverse of x. So what does this show? Well, it shows then that z times i just gives z, so we end up with therefore z equals the inverse of y multiplied by the inverse of x, the result that we had to show here. Notice, though, that it's not the inverse of x times the inverse of y. Matrix multiplication isn't generally commutative. That is, you can't reverse these values round. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea for 
showing this particular result. And you'll find plenty more videos, maths videos on my website on other topics. So you might like to go there and uh, check it out. All right.